and speak to Glenn Durant, the former Premier League champion. Uh, Glenn, thanks for coming on. Listen, it, unreal, isn't it? It was sum up that performance for us. Yeah, well, we're witnessing something very, very special. I mean, we have to enjoy it while he's there. Um, you know, I, I promised myself not to talk about his age because we're just seeing something very generational. And then to beat, you know, three of the top five yesterday as well, it's it's really special. And I just couldn't take the smile off my face watching him last night. It was incredible. We talked about that nine data against Nathan Aspinall, but he just seems to be taking it all in a stride. He's really enjoying himself, isn't he? Uh, and that's what impresses me the most. Uh, it's not the nine darters. I knew we could do that. And it's not the big averages. I've seen him do that. It's the level of maturity that he's demonstrating to me. It's how he's handling the situation. And like I said, the reaction when he won it as well. He's already thinking of the next tournament. Um, it's an incredible story and just absolutely beautiful for the game of darts. What do you make of his technique, mate? Because it, it just... There was no gap in between. We were throwing that nine dart last night. It said, bang, bang, bang. It, it just... It, is it similar? Can you can you liken it to any other players you've seen? Or, or do you think he's a bit of a one-off? No, I think you've just answered the question there with bang, bang, bang. It's all about the rhythm. I mean, replication is key of throwing a dart. And, and he pulls it out, he brings it back, and he releases it from the same point. He plays at such a ferocious pace as well, where the, the crowd are just going to lap that up. I mean, a lot of the young players now are playing super quick, but it's all about the rhythm. And he's what we call a first art merchant. You just know if the first one goes in the treble, mm. the others are going to follow. Mm. Incredible to watch. Yeah. I mean, the Premier League gets underway two weeks' time. We know that you won it on your debut. What advice would you give to Luke Littler then? Just to make sure it's more the advice for the people around him. He's going to be away from home six days a week, but at 16, all I wanted to do was play darts then. So I don't fear about the health and well-being of this 16-year-old, 17-year-old traveling around uh, Europe playing Premier League darts. But the people around him, his family, his management, they've got a job to do to look after him, but he's just got to enjoy it. And he's good enough to go and win it. Scary. It is scary. I mean, I how have the other players, do you think, on the tour reacted to uh, this whole Luke Littler mania? Because there we, were some interesting quotes from Van Gerwen, wasn't there, when he was sort of saying, well, I think I was better when I was, better when I was, I was his age. And do you think it ruffles a few feathers when someone like Littler sort of emerges and we're all talking about him? I think it's a fabulous question, that because I was watching that. I was watching the sort of the demeanour of the players as well. And they're not treating him like this young kid that's come onto the scene. They're treating him as a threat. And I really like the, you know, the look that Gerwin Price gave him when he shook his hand, the words that Michael Van Gerwen said before and after. He's a real player now, Luke Littler, and uh, you, you know, the other players know that, they'll respect that, but Luke's got to do his own thing. Don't try and please the elite players, just go and do what you do best.